Hi, Gemini. I'm here to do your reading for February, and the cards I'm using are the Fairy Tarot cards by Dorian Virtue and Red Light Valentine. These are very beautiful cards. Fairies. And the spread that the cards wanted me to do was just a general laying out three cards. And then a row of four cards. And then a last row of three cards. And since it's the month of love, February with Valentine's Day, I'm leaving these last three cards as the love, and they are face down, and we'll go over that in a moment. So first, we will start with the Prince of Autumn, which is the Prince of Coins, Nine of Spring, Nine of Wands, the Moon, the Ego, which is the Devil card, Eight of Spring, which is Eight of Wands, Eight of Winter, which is Eight of Swords, and the Emperor. So, starting out with, with Prince of Autumn, Prince of Coins, which is a Earth sign, and Earth signs are the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. There is someone around you with this sign. And they are very, they're funny, they're dependable, protective, chivalrous, and they are a major part of interaction with you for the month of February. They are very patient and meticulous also. With the Nine of Wands, You are being very, very um, protective of your position. And it could be in regards to this prince. Because there is some things that aren't clear that are going on with your communication with this prince. It could be because with the devil, there is a lot of passion when, as this card says, the ego. And there is a lot of passion, and sometimes that leads to, leads to tricking oneself into thinking, thinking that it is necessary, like... Like the devil could be an addiction to to eating or drinking or smoking or whatever, working. And the devil likes to trick. And this could be the passion becoming too much or too... too out of control where you aren't holding it at bay. It's fine to have passion. It's especially, it's great to have passion, especially in a love relationship and everything. It, it's great to have that. But when you let the passion out of control and then it becomes an addiction, if you have a passion for for sports and you like to go out and drink and then all of a sudden the drinking becomes more important and that passion takes over and then you no longer pay attention to the sports all you are paying attention to is that passion and that in the end does trap you because that's how the devil works the devil likes to trap you in in tricking you thinking it's all good and and then tricking you into overdoing it in excess and everything. You have the Eight of Wands, though, so I do feel this situation is a lot of passion because you have a lot of love coming towards you. 
and and this is the passion that you are having this whole situation but there's something unclear about it and that's why you are are being very conservative and very protective of your position and where you stand you are also in a situation where you can't move at this time because of obligations, responsibilities, maybe even your self-confidence isn't letting you move forward. But it looks like you are very strong with the Nine of Spring, the Nine of Wands, and how you are standing your ground. So it's more of your binds, things that are holding you back and preventing you from this passion moving forward. You are a master of your world. As you can see with the moon card, the emperor, and the devil, these are major arcana cards. You have no choice in these. Things aren't clear. You need to listen to your intuition and go with your gut feeling. What is it you feel is right? And sure, it's fine to have that passion. Keep it in check. Don't let it trap you. Don't let that get out of control because there is going to be this love flowing for, forward towards you. And you are very knowledgeable, logical, intelligent, and able to maintain your world, take care of your world. You can even see this heart here. You are very as it says in here, a firm but compassionate leader. You are in control of this, this love. This is your world, and you are in control of your love and what you do with it. Now let's look at the love cards. You have three of autumn, which is three of coins. The high priestess, and the Queen of Winter, which is the Queen of Swords. So three of Autumn, you're working at this relationship. You are working, you are listening to your intuition, just like I told you with your moon. You need to trust your intuition, listen to your intuition, meditate, reflect on it, And do what you need to do, because you are the queen of winter. You are strong, self-sufficient, patient, funny. You don't need any drama. As you can see in this card, a lot of times this talks about the, the unmarried or divorced individuals or widower. You don't need someone you are not codependent you don't need someone to make you complete you want to share to be cat and compassionate to love to care for someone you don't need another person to complete you you don't need that other person to to make you whole so just stay yourself, stay strong, stay self-sufficient, listen to your intuition, continue with what you're doing. You're doing what you need to do. Everything you're doing is correct. There are some binds, something that is holding you back. It could be on the part of the prince because he is looking the other direction. He is not looking at you. You are paying attention to him. Because you are this fire sign. You do have this, this love, this passion that's coming in. So there are some binds on your part and in their part also probably. But there is this strong sexual desire bringing you together. Just stay strong. It may not happen in February. But it will happen because this this looks like it's going to progress. Whatever this needs to clear up. You're strong. You are strong. 
a master of your world, a master of your heart and your life. So stay strong, Aries. Have a great February. Bless you all. Oh, wait a minute. Not Aries, Sagittarius. I'm sorry. Stay strong, Sagittarius. Bless you all.